Today, answers to your top five questions about RODI replacement filter kits, including how long do these filters typically last, how to know when to change them, how to replace them, in what order do they go, and are these filters universal? So first couple questions, how long do these filters typically last and how do you know when to replace them? Basically, because everyone's water source is different, there's not a specific number of months or number of gallons produced at March when they need to be changed. Using tools like your TDS meter, your pressure gauge, and total chlorine test strips definitely give you a more accurate reference to know when it's time to change them. And as a bare bones general guide, here you go. Sediment filter, no less than six to 12 months. Carbon block, no less than 12 months. And for that color changing DI resin, when it's about 75% of it has turned that orangish brown color, it's definitely time. It could be a week or a couple of months, but just know, you see all orange, it's way past time. Waiting too long or changing your filters too often can add up over time. And for a more accurate indicator to know when it's time to change, there's a couple perfect tools for the job. Check your pressure gauge. A decreased pressure likely means your sediment filter is clogged and it's time to change. If your pressure seems stable, but your filter's looking a little dingy or brownish colored, it's probably time. My rule of thumb, when in doubt, change it out, because they're only a couple bucks. The best way to know for sure if your carbon blocks need changing is to use those total chlorine test strips and testing your wastewater line, which in the BRS units is your black line. Dip the strip, and if you show more than that 0.5 parts per million of total chlorine, it's definitely time. For the color changing DI resin, a quick check of your TDS meter and anything over that zero parts per million, it's time to change it out. You'd be surprised how many times your resin looked okay, but really needed to be replaced. So you need to change your filters. How do you actually replace them and in which order do they go? Let's do the order first and replacement second. For that master order from left to right, sediment first, carbon block second, and DI resin last. For the six stage kit, from left to right, sediment, carbon, carbon, DI resin, and DI resin. The best thing you'll ever do is label your canister filters before you start removing them so you always know what goes where. Replacing the filters are actually pretty fast and easy. A quick reminder before you change anything though, make sure to turn off the water source going to your RO unit. After your water is shut off to the unit, use the wrench to loosen the canister. Take out the old one, discard the remaining water, and put the new one back in. For the sediment and the carbon blocks, they can go in either way so there's no top or bottom and you can't do it wrong. For the DI resin, remove the cartridge, unscrew the top, dump out the resin. Using your hand as a funnel, fill it up to about that three quarters full and tap it on a hard surface to pack it as tightly as possible. Then fill it all the way to the top. The filters in the six stage replacement kit are universal and they can be used in any BRS RODI unit and even if you have a different RO unit, if it uses the 10 inch filter cartridges, these filters will work. And to be honest, they're probably higher quality and cheaper as well. I always recommend having an extra set handy as they never expire or go bad. So why not be prepared and pick up your four, five, six or seven stage RODI complete set right over here.